Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. He's over there holding the box of Terraforming Mars for it's time for the fifth and final solo playthrough of Colonies. Well, all the expansions leading up to Colonies as well. Then, of course, there will be a new uh, expansion coming for Terraforming Mars here in 2019 called Turmoil. There's just a few, um, yeah, there's not that much information out right now about it but it is coming and so then there will be new solo playthroughs again of course i'm, I'm expecting five new corporations uh, <laughs> that's how they've done it so far so i think that's gonna be the same thing again but until then we're going to take a little break from the solo playthroughs uh, might of course do some other terraforming mars top five videos and so on we'll see but we'll, we'll start off here with the we'll do the standard board again uh, just to end this off here, and we'll start off with the placement of these. Uh, so let's see, top here we have 15, so 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, it's 15, it's all the way down there. And then we will have a 11, and there's only 4 spaces, so that's 8, and that's 9, 10, 11 for the greenery. And down here we will have 30, wow. Okay, so this I have to count this. Okay, so it's all the way up here in the middle. Well, that's, that's how it can go. And then 20, well, high numbers here. So 4, 8, that's 16, that's 20 as well. So yeah, they're sort of in the middle here. Not really sure if I like that. So that was the um, AI or the sort of, uh, yeah, the cities and greeneries. Now we have to choose, well, we don't have to choose everything now because we will be playing Arclight. It's the last corporation out there for uh, colonies that I haven't played solo. So starting with 45 cash to, uh, that's kind of interesting. We actually start, so we start at zero instead of the minus two that's normally with colonies. And the only effect here is really when we play an animal or plant tag, we put an animal on this card and actually this counts for itself as well. So we start with an animal here and every two animals are a point. So yeah, it sounds a bit boring, but that's how it goes. Starting cards. Uh, we'll take a look at those after we decided the colonies and the prelude. So for colonies, let's take four here and we'll uh, Get to choose three of them So we have Ceres, Pluto is nice, Pluto's a given And Luna, wow, I did shuffle them, but I managed to get sort of the same as I had last time. That's interesting. Uh, do we have any need in the beginning for steel? No, we don't. Uh, but I do think... Mm, yeah, no, no, no. It's gonna be... It's gonna be uh, Pluto, Luna and Triton. Yeah. Because those it's cards, it's money and it is uh, titanium. And I have these uh, lovely uh, overlays for these. Uh, I really like those. So you don't need them, but yeah. They just, they, I like how they look and how they keep the cubes in place here. So that's good. And then we do the um, four prelude cards. Let's shuffle well here. We don't get the same because I am recording this uh, sort of after I did the number four. But I did shuffle stuff, I mean cards and so on. So let's see, okay. So I'll take four prelude cards. And we get to keep two. Nitrogen shipment. Hmm. Could be good to start off with plant production. Oh, IO research, I like that. Starting with titanium production and energy, that's the same as we had last time. And money. Hmm. Okay. Well, I am tempted to do titanium because that's always good. And, I, and we get a card as well. So, one titanium production and a card. We're not going to look at that yet though because we have to decide the other one first. Um, a TR? No, I don't think so. It's either, it's one of these, I think. Oh, uh, I think, I think I want to go for it. Yeah, it's so nice to have that energy already. So let's do the energy once again. I really like having some, and it's for steel as well. And I like having some energy production early. That really helps out uh, for trading and with so many cards that require you to lower your energy. So. So let's see the card that we got there. We go, oh, this is nice. I like that. That's a good one. Get started with. And then we have to choose our cards, of course. Uh, this is not happening. 
this is hard with the Venus tags, flooding is nice, uh, cheap ocean, robotic workforce is nice, I like that. Uh, this is it, another ocean, pretty cheap, not gonna do breeding filters, not gonna do quantum. This is for cities, this is good but it depends on if we get cities out there. And this requires two science tags, we have one science tag though, already from the and we get one from the robotics. I think I'll take plantation. And this is quite expensive. I think I'll skip that. So maybe we should take these four. Start off doing some oceans. That will give us some TR. So that's not a bad idea. It's this one perhaps. But. Well, I mean 15. Well it costs us 18. So that's 9 per. I mean if we get one city out. And we get three for 80. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cheap. Let's take that one as well. And let's hope that we can get a city out pretty soon then. Um, okay, and nothing to use the robotic workforce for yet, but yeah, it's still good. It's still a good one. So, five cards out of the 45 that we started with. Um, so, that's 30 that we start with in reality. And some steel, some titanium production, some energy production. Uh, and we got the car there, so we have this card as well, which is nice because that could just straight up just pay for like most of this or something. So six cards, uh, everything is set up. I think we're ready to go. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, if I have, tell me in the comment section. I usually, I mean, sometimes I forget things. That's uh, kind of human, I think. So, but I think yeah, and here we get a plant as well, which will give us a half a point when we play it for the arc light. So yeah, why not? Let's get going. So, generation number one, here we come. I have set up the cards over there, as usual, so I can keep track of which generation we're in if I get confused. Um, okay, so I think the first thing we do is to put out some oceans. I mean, this one we want to save and wait for another city, at least one. This needs more, uh, one more um, size tag, and this uh, we don't have any use for now. We need to find some good building card that we can copy because that's what it does. So, let's do flooding for seven. And I already miss having those discounts. I had three in discount at the end of the last game. That was so nice. So right now having to pay for the, the full price for cards just feels terrible. <laughs> but we put out an ocean and I think I, my standard is usually just like, yeah, I think I'll just do this for two titanium. And then the send, then we play the uh, indentured workers. So that's minus eight for the next. This is three nine minus eight for the next card, and we play uh, this one for three then. And that's another ocean. And I just hope that we don't find Arctic algae <laughs> because yeah. Uh, and then we put it up here. This is my sort of usual two first placements on this map. Then I get two cards. And wow, this requires, this is nice for the points, but it requires five science tags. Um, hmm. Well, this is kind of interesting, to be honest, because this is when we play a plant, microbe, or an animal tag, including this, we gain a plant or add a resource. So we can get plants this way, and it's another science tag, which means we could get this out. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's play this then for nine. And uh, let's see, it triggers off itself, right? Yeah, yeah, it triggers off itself, so I gain, including this, I gain a plant because of that uh, microbe there. So that's not bad. Um, and this is a way to just, you know, now we want to play animal, microbe, and plant tags. And we do want to play animal and plant tags for the corp as well, so yeah, sort of triggers off each other. Now we have two science tags, so now we could do this, but I don't have 15 credits anymore, but could get this out pretty early here put out the greenery early on. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that was the first generation. World government will sort of, I think that will start off with oxygen. Uh, might not go so heavy into oxygen on world, world government this time because I think we will generate some plants and so on, but yeah, we'll see. And all the uh, planets, the uh, colonies, tiles will move up. We haven't been there yet. Um, we'll see when we do that and then we do the production. I'll do the production as normal here for the first round But then I'm gonna speed it up later on so 
you don't have to sit around and watch me do things. So we get some titanium and two energy. That was fast. Anyhow. So, generation number two, four new cards. Let's check them out. We have Deimos down. Wow, this came back. This was in the last game as well. Seems I haven't shuffled as good as I thought, but I did shuffle like crazy. Um, this is good. Uh, this is good. And this is good. Same there again. Space Station is nice if we play it early on here and we can get... Hmm, because we are have we do have titanium production. We will seek out these space tag thingies and here's the one. Oh, this wow how is this possible it's happened to me before you know when i shuffle i place them out in piles all over the table i shuffle all everything together and then i get three uh three cards that was in the last game <laughs> it's just so crazy it happened before just like that the thing is though i think i mean placing a colony is nice getting the discount is nice this is nice and the basically i want them all I didn't take my money as well. I'm ugh, I'm confused. So see, yeah, I should have 16 credits, right? So maybe I should take them all then. The thing is, all these these are. I I want to find. Yeah, we'll see later on. I would like to play this, but it's not. A, it's, there's no rush really. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to play this for a while, but it's really good to have it. I mean, three steps on the temperature. So yeah, I'll take them all, which is a bit crazy, but I'll go that route. And that means that that means that I want to play this one first, because that gives discount on the other ones. So that's ten. And I guess we'll just pay uh, nine plus one. So paid with titanium. Got some money back in uh, exchange there. So now the, all the other ones have a discount and so we'll play imported GHG for just 5 of them, which is nice. We get that, we pay 5, and we get 3 heat as well, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, this one costs 10, so what we'll do is we're going to sell this one because that's so far away, I mean we might not even have 5 size tags in the whole game, who knows. So we're going to sell that one so that we have 10 because then we can buy this one because that's a discount on this so that cost us 10 and then we get to place a colony early on here which is nice and i think uh last last game we did it on luna and that was really good because that gives you production so i think we'll do the same i mean the other ones gives you like titanium or cards but this this money here is so important and we get two uh, money production from that. So yeah, that's good. And I think that's it because we can't play any of these. And so we're done, I think. And we go to the world government. We'll do oxygen again. Uh, everything is moves up here. We'll do the production as well. And it's up to 16 plus 2, so it's 18. It's really quick and easy here. As long as I don't forget to take the money, which I did. <laughs> it's just so weird. Uh, the energy moves over, couldn't use that yet. We need three now to um, trade. We had the card, so we only needed two last game, which was awesome. Okay, so that is it for uh, generation number two. We go to the third one, we get four new cards. We have sponsors, I do like that. Red Spot Observatory, which is a new one. So you can add floaters, spend floaters, draw cards. Oh, and you get to draw two cards when you play it. That is a good one. It takes three science tags, which we will have when we play this robotic workforce. Small animals is not going to happen, and food factory is not going to happen. But yeah, it's nice. It's, it is a nice card, but I mean, 17, and we can't play it yet. I think we'll just do sponsors. We want to keep, uh, yeah, we'll just do sponsors for three. And then let's see, what is the most important thing to do? Hmm. I think plantation would be nice. I think so. Because then we could, on the other hand, sponsors is good to get out as fast as possible. So yeah, let's do sponsors for six. And once again, I had that card last game, so weird that it shows up again. 
Uh, so that's two money production, which is nice. So we have nine more. And we have nothing to copy yet. And we can't do these. So I guess that's it then. <laughs> yeah, no action call or anything. It just feels so weird in the beginning here when you, yeah, when you just play the game. So, um, once again, we do this. And I do want to trade sometime soon. Uh, production wise we get 60 we get 20 now money and then we get some titanium these move over and we get two more energy and one more so now we can raise temperature okay so generation number four we have some cards snow algae it's the promo uh, it's pretty good we have two oceans out so I think I'll go for this and it has the plant tag which is nice as well Galilean Way Station is a new one. Uh, it's good if you have Jovian tags. We have one, but yeah, you want to have more than that, I guess, for do for if you're gonna play that. Uh, this is nice as well. You can spend two to add a floater. Spin. Oh, this is kind of a bad one though. This will take two, two generations and cost you four before you can raise Venus. And some bird. No, let's just do snow algae then. For three. And let's see. Could we... Oh, I'm not sure if we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna do it right away. What well, is production? Let's see. Can we do Deimos down though? That's 20... Let's see. It costs us 31 minus 2 because of the discount for space tag. 29. So it's 20, yeah, we can do it. I think we're going to do this one. So uh, let's see, 29 minus 6 for titanium. That's 23, so we'll pay that. And that's basically what we do this generation, but I think it's worth it because you get we get to this 1, 2, 3, and we get the heat bonus. That's good as well. And we do get 3 TR, so 1, 2, 3. And let's see, we also get 4 steel. I've taken those. Then we spend 8 heat to get another step here and another TR. And we don't really have any money. So I think that's it for generation number 4. It goes pretty quick here. Um, and I want to trade but I need one more energy to do that. Yeah, I, I have to do it somehow. So world government, oxygen, Pluto is up to 3, Luna is up to 10. Yeah, we want to go visit Luna I think. For sure, because now we actually make a profit even. But I don't want to spend nine credits. I want to somehow do it some other way. So we have 24 in income right here. Uh, titanium. These move over. We get two more energy and two heat. Okay. New generation, number five. It's going, it's going so fast. Corona extractor. Oh, this is nice for energy. Can we pull off four? Science tags, we're at three at the best now, if we play this. Um, insects, mm, it's way late game, this requires five science tags, even though it's a really good card. Oh, I like Electro Catapult. I like this one a lot. So this one I think we'll go for, for money. And I think we'll take Corona Extractor for a little bit later here. We will get a discount on the space tag. And that's four energy. That's so good. So let's take two cards then. For six. And I guess we're trying... I guess we will try to get Electro Catapult out then. It's either that or Snow Algae. But we can pay Electro Catapult. We can pay with Steel. The problem is we want to sell Steel later on. And we don't have any steel production, so we don't want to we, we don't want to use up all the steel, but it costs uh, 17. So let's say we would pay 12. No, oh, let's pay 10 in steel, and then seven in cash. And we have to lower our energy by one, which is bad. But and then we can use this uh, right away. To sell a steel for seven credits so yeah i really like that one it's so much money you can pull in with this and you can sell plants as well so if we get some plants going um yeah we can actually get plants from the viral enhancers as well we'll see 
So that was that, and then I think we'll do snow algae as well, because then we start generating plants as well, so we might sell some. So 12 for that. And as we play it, uh, since we're playing a uh, plant tag, well, two things happen. We get a animal over here, so that's a half a point. We also get a plant from uh, viral enhancers. And of course, then we get some plant production and some heat production. So yeah, all good. And uh, we have nine more uh, credits. We still have nothing to copy. You need a, it needs to be a building tag for this to work. It has to be a building card. Uh, and we don't want to copy that because that lowers our energy. Um, I would like to do this, but I can't because I need two more uh, science tags before I can do that. So I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So that's not used anymore. We go to the world government. Mm, I don't see any reason for not doing this. I mean, we're not generating that many plants, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I do want to trade. That's the thing. Now we're up pretty high here on these. They're almost maxed out. We need to start trading in this generation, I think. Because now we go into generation number six. And mining expedition. It's not bad. Uh, deep well heating. It's not bad either. Ice cap melting is way too late game. Sponsored academies is pretty good. Scored a card and draw three cards. There's no opponents, but. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should do some production as well. That could be a good idea, actually. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting, to, uh, I don't know. Sorry, okay, I'm, I need to focus there. So 24. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, well, sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. So I do get a plant, I get some energy, I get some heat, so that I can do a new race there. Okay, so that's the production, quick and easy. We did that, we did the world government, so we're okay. Got the new cards, okay. Deep well, okay, so these two are not gonna happen. The question is, can we afford, so we have 33, and I'm thinking that we could, I wanna copy some good cards, I don't wanna do that anyhow. And that's not going to happen. That might happen. That's going to wait for another 60. So I guess 15, that would leave us with 18. Hmm, but we will sell a steel as well. So I think we'll take two cards. We'll take two cards uh, because we will get some money here. So what we'll do at the start, I think, is we will start off by... We'll start off by doing our action, which is to sell one steel for seven credits. Could sell a plant, but I'd rather sell steel right now, um, as long as we have it. Okay, and then we'll spend eight here to raise temperature, which will give us a heat bonus as well. That's good. Um, and then it's down to the cards, right? So, and the thing is, I'm, I'm thinking that we want to trade. But do we want to spend nine? I mean, if we go to Luna, we would spend nine to get 15, so we would... We would make six profit, but if we wait, then we make 17 instead. That's a big jump. Oh, I need, I, we need to get that energy going, so... I mean, it might even be worth it to, to play this one. 15 for two steps, then we're up to three, then we can trade with energy from the... Yeah, we're going to do it. We don't even see a city here. We don't know when a city is going to show up. And 15 for two energy is not that bad for price. So let's do that. 15 to get two more energy production. So next generation we can use energy to trade. In this generation though I'm thinking maybe we should trade. I mean we can get... We can't use that. Okay, let's not trade this generation then. Um, hmm... Do we do this one? I mean, here we can get an energy as well. But now we just, yeah, okay, now we just did the other one. So let's do plantation then for 15. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Then we get to place a greenery. Okay, so where do we put the greenery? We do get one there and one there. And we can place the greenery anywhere we want because we haven't done any of that yet. I think what makes most sense is to get steel actually, actually. 
Um, so if we place it like here, I think yeah, I think that's good. We get two steel. Because that will help us with paying for, for other cards here as well. So we have four. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're done. Wow, it's not going that good to be honest. Uh, I'm not feeling it. So, <laughs> so world government will do this, and then we can try. To, we can do an oxygen next time. Get the bonus at least. The uh, colonists will move up, and they're all maxed out now. So yeah, we we will have have to trade it. I mean, okay. Money wise, we get twenty two, so twenty six. And then we also have titanium, a plant, these move over, we get three energy, and then we also get four, so we can do temperature rates there as well, which is good. We go into generation number seven, wow, it's going so bad. So permafrost, um, bribed committee, well, it's not that bad. Sky Docks is nice because you get an extra trade fleet. But we don't have two Earth Tags yet. Wow. Wow, it, it, this is a terrible game. <laughs> I think it's going so bad. But you have to have some of those as well, right? And Mars University, we need that for the Science Tag, if nothing else. We do. We need this one. Uh, we do. That, that yeah. I mean, this is one discount, it's not bad. And another trade fleet. The problem is, even if I have two trade fleets, I mean, sure, we can trade twice, but they go to the bottom, and then we have to wait until they go up again. It's not going to be that profitable to just keep trading a lot. Hmm. Bribe committee. Cost us 10. To get two, so that's five before. Yeah, we're not even gonna make profit on that. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna make two credits profit because the points are just they take each other. I mean, that's just zero points basically. Because of, let's just do Mars University. Wow, I'm not feeling it, it's not going well now. <laughs> that's how some games are. So we paid for that. Okay, oh, wait, 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 I just realized something. We do want the sky docks because we will play this one. We will have a bunch of energy, so we can even do two trades. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Okay, so let's do that one as well. Let's get that one as well. Okay. Yeah, I just realized that we will do the um, because now I will. Well, first of all, we will sell a steel just like normal. That's the standard move now, and we will raise temperature with eight heat. So that's good. And then we will play Morse University. And should we pay a should we pay with steel? That's the question. Mm, no, let's okay, let's play this one first then. So we'll play mining expedition for twelve. That gives us uh, two steel. And it gives us one oxygen, which will be also raising temperature. So that's two TR. So that's a good one. And then we can play Marsh University and we'll pay it fully in steel. So that's eight in steel. And as we play it, we can discard a card and draw another card. And I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that this is, I mean, we don't, we don't really need this. Um, I, but the problem is we need four, to play this, we need four science tags. Oh, oh. Now I'm going to get rid of this because the thing is we don't produce steel. We don't need that energy. We are going to get a bunch of energy as soon as we can figure this other thing out. So we'll discard that. To draw another one because of Morse University. And we got Aerobrake Ammonia Asteroid. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it's not going well, folks. I need it. I want to find a science tag. I mean, we can't even play this because there's nothing to copy. But we need another science tag to be able to play this one to get the energy. 
So we can play this one to get another trade, please. So we can trade twice. But time is running out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now this takes two earth tags. We don't have two earth tags. Wow, we're in such a corner in this game. And the corporation isn't helping us at all because that's just collecting points. Oh, okay. I need to do something. I need to do something about the situation, right? Um, that, I mean, we need to work on Venus. I think this might be one of the worst solo players ever, uh, to be honest. We're halfway through the game and nothing has happened, really. We got some, oh, we got some, yeah, world government did a bunch of oxygen, but... Okay, I'm just going to stop being negative. I'm going to do something about my situation here. <laughs> so I'm going to... Okay, the best thing I can figure out to do right now is to do this. We're going to pay three energy to trade. We're going to fly to Triton. We're going to get five titanium. Then we're going to play this one. I mean, it's not perfect because we have no way to place the microbes. But hey, it's a card. We can do something. So it costs us 24 because of the discount. And that is eight um, titanium. Yeah. Okay. And then we get this one. We get three heat production, which is nice. And we get a plant production, which is nice as well. Especially since we don't have any steel anymore. We want to sell something. We can sell plants. And that was it. We have no, nowhere to place the microbes. So that's a sort of wasteful. But we can't play any of these cards. Uh, so it's time. We'll put up an ocean for 18. We need, we need to do something. Um, to, you know, move things along. So we get a TR for that. And we'll put the ocean. We're actually getting close to being able to put out the greenery. But we need cards. We need to find. We'll just have to gamble. Hope that we get some cards that can help us. It's the virus. It's totally useless. It's totally useless. <laughs> just gonna sell it. Ah, oh, come on, game. What are you doing to me? I mean, I've been sitting with robotic workforce. There's a bunch of cards in that stack that has a building tag and gives you good production that you could copy with this. But we've done half the game and we haven't seen any of them. Any. Oh. Tell me in the comment section if you feel my if, if you feel for me at this moment of time. So I think we're done with this generation. We will go to the world government. They will keep doing oxygen. Um, we will move up Triton. The other ones are maxed out already. Ship flies home. We do production, which is 26. It's 30. I need some coffee and a good thing I have the Draco cup here. Okay, now we also get some titanium. We get two plants, which is nice. We get some three energy and we get seven lovely heat. Okay, we go into generation number eight and four new cards. So space elevator, well a bit late, but I'm not going to complain. This is just the kind of card I wanted. We can sell steel and all that. Geothermal power is another one that we could copy later on. Good for energy. Uh, gene repair, we can play this, get money and get the uh, science tag that we need. And floater prototypes is not that interesting. So, okay, we'll take three cards. Maybe we can do something now. And where do we start? Well, I think we start with... We start with, let's see, we have one, two, three. Yeah, we'll start with gene repair. Oh, well, actually, we start with selling a plant. That's the first thing. So we get seven more credits. Then we do gene repair for 12. And that gives us two money production. And mostly importantly, it gives us ability to play this one, which will cost us eight because of the discount. We pay three plus five. We get four energy production, which is nice. So as long as we can find an earth tag now, we could play, play this one and then we could get in a trade fleet. We could double trade. Yeah. Um, and if nothing else, the energy will turn into heat. So, okay, so we have 13. Well, I do want this one, but we have to save a little bit for, to, before we can do that. And we, you, you, the good thing with having this one is if you have some, uh, Steel production, of course. Of course. Um, 
And when I played, oh, when I played the uh, science tag over there, I got the option to throw away a card and draw another one. So I am considering throwing this away because it's so late game that it's not going to be worth it to copy some production. I'm going to do it. This game just turned out really bad, but algae, not bad. Okay. But we can't play it right now anyway because we need oceans. Oh, so that was it. That was it. We can't do anything else. So we go to world government. It will just keep giving us some breathable air. And uh, it's... Oh. No, 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 no. We didn't trade. We didn't trade. We have to trade as well. Ooh. We have to do the trade. So now I would like to do Triton, but it's only one titanium there. So instead we spend the three energy to fly over to Luna to pick up 19 credits. Okay, so we do have some money. Then we could, then we could do Space Elevator to get some titanium production. And hopefully we need to, well, we need to find some steel as well if we're gonna max out this card, but yeah, I'm gonna play it for 27. And having both of these, both of these two that lets you sell, um, I mean, if you have steel or plant production here, that's 12 credits every generation. That's really good. And we did get a titanium production. Uh, should I save? No, we don't want to save money. So we spend 14 for another temperature step for TR. Okay, so now we're done. And now we do the world government. And we race Triton and Luna as well then. And we fly home. Production wise we have 27 plus 6 so that's 33. And we also get some titanium. Two plants. We get, oh this is crazy. We get 7 energy and 7 uh, heat Okay, what do we have here? We have seven plants Hmm Close but no cigar or whatever it's uh, the expression is so we're done so far. We'll do the um, generation number nine cards moss uh, Yeah, I might do that one actually because we lose a plant but we get a gain the plants as well, so uh, Gain your colony bonuses that would be uh, getting two credits, it will cost us three, so it doesn't make sense. If we have a lot of colonies, this can be really nice. Uh, this is good if you have a lot of energy and you want points. This is good if you maxed out the heat, which, yeah. So, moss is the only card that actually does something for us. So, we'll take that and we start off. Yeah, we start off by selling a plant for seven credits. And then we raise temperature once. So that's uh, a TR as well. Then we play uh, moss for four. And as we do that, we lose a plant, but we gain a plant from viral enhancer because of the plant tag. And we also get half a point for arc light. So, okay, when we get one plant production, that's the most important part of that process. Uh, so now we're not going to do, yeah, okay, we'll see. So, algae. Mm, okay, so I think it's time to do an ocean for 18. And uh, the ocean, we will put it, let's see, we get one TR, and we'll put it for plants here. So we get two more plants, and then we can straight away do a greenery for eight plants. Which will get oxygen and a TR. And we have to place it next to an existing tile. So we'll go down there where we get a steel. It's not the best place, but now we're started here. So. so that's done. We have some more money. We cannot, we need one more ocean for this. This is not that attractive because, yeah. Okay, so now it's time to pick up some cards. So we'll go trading. Send out our trade fleet to Pluto and we pick up four cards. Let's hope we get something good now. 
can help us out. Because, yeah, I, I don't think we, there's any way we can make it. It's, yeah, we haven't even started on Venus, but we'll try as hard as we can at least. Here we get some heat, which is not bad at all. Uh, this is good for the plants. Uh, add a resource to a Venus card. Mm, not that good. And self-replicating robots is good at some... It's, it's good at some... Yeah. But I think we're... Let's see. We have some money. We're going to do the carbonate processing for sure. That's six. So pay 11. Take a five. Lower energy by one. Back at three. Heat production. That was the one that was like, yeah, we have to do that. I think this one is nice as well, though, for plant production. Um, this is kind of wasteful. I mean, it's, it's two, but it's not going to pay off. So I think it's time to sell a bunch of cards, actually. And no earth tags. Where are all the earth tags? We're going to sell uh, corroded suits. We're going to sell replicating robots and this one as well. This, it's, yeah, it doesn't make sense to keep it. So that's three credits. That brings us up to 13. Uh, I think we'll do cloud seeding for 11. Because that gives us, well, it does lower our uh, money production one step, but it gives us two plant production, which is really good. Okay, okay. So I think I think we have the world government doing ocean now. That kind of makes sense. Because I think we're done. I don't think we can do anything else. It's not looking that good, but yeah, we'll do it. They, they can do an ocean. They can do it. Um, they can do it like there, I guess. Then we can do one next to it. Um, we go home from Pluto. We increase Pluto, Luna and Triton. And the production is now 30. It's 35 in money. And then we get some titanium. And five plants, so energy moves over, and we get seven more energy. No, six. And then we get ten more heat, which is nice. So we can uh, do some temperature races at least uh, in the next generation here. So generation number ten. Oh, wow, we are so toast. Okay, this is good for just getting some money. Uh, it will cost us six, though, when we get ten, so I don't know. Um, floater leasing for every floater you have this could be really good in some situations this is good in some situations if you get that early and on and so on because I don't think it's worth it for us now right no, I don't think so use it twice but and perch I mean the card draw in this in this uh, playthrough is just terrible but we get investment loan because that will give us a profit um, so we pay six in total for it so we can play it right away and that will give us 10 credits but lower our income by one okay then we will sell one plant for seven credits We will spend 16 heat for some races here. So two steps, that's two TR. And we will play algae for 10. That will give us two plants because one triggers of the viral enhancers. And two step two, so we are up to seven in plant production, which is nice. Uh, okay. Still can't play this, and it's kind of late for it anyway. So we have 38 credits, and I mean, Venus is, yeah, we're not gonna do that. There's, there's no way we're gonna pull that off. Uh, I think we'll do an ocean. We'll do an ocean for 18. Because then we'll put it right here, we get two credits and two plants, which means we can do a greenery. So we'll put in eight plants. And we have a greenery going. 
right there. We get two steel. I mean, we're not making, we don't have a city out. This, this is so crazy. Uh, <laughs> no city and yeah, wow. Terrible, terrible uh, playthrough. Um, <laughs> and okay. So we have 22. Um, what would we do that makes any sense? It feels like there's no idea to start on Venus, really. I think we'll pay 14 for a temperature race. We can hit that uh, ocean bonus next uh, generation, at least. Yeah, then we'll be able to put out like one greenery, perhaps. So the world government now, uh, we haven't traded, by the way. I keep forgetting that, but we should trade. We should trade. How would that help us? We could get one card from Pluto, but that's not going to help. So let's trade for, uh, we send out, we pay the energy and we go to Luna where we get nine credits. Because that means that we have 17 and we're going to sell this card because yeah, it's way too late. And then with 18 we can put out another ocean at least. Wow, I, I think this is my worst playthrough ever. And that's two plants and four credits. I don't think I've ever done this bad before. Uh, I mean, it's partly because of me, I guess. Because I'm playing two games back to back. Maybe I'm a bit, you know, getting a bit tired in my brain. But it's also because I'm not drawing any cards, really. That, you know, the cards doesn't come in the right order. And, you know, that can happen. There is a luck element, of course, since it's a card drawing game. And I think that's it. So, World Government will do one step here. We will get... These will go up one step. And the ship comes home and we get uh, 35, 39 credits, which is a terrible income as well. So low. Uh, we get some titanium. And I mean, we're not even getting cards that we can use the titanium for. This is just so terrible. Six new energy and 10 heat, which uh, we can do two temperature races. We can probably reach the ocean there at least. And I think that's it. We go to generation number 11. So four new cards. Oh, dust seal. It's like the game is mocking me. Like I'm sitting here and complaining and it gives me dust seal. <laughs> I can't even play it and I wouldn't even want to play it. It's just one point. It's a terrible card. Not true foods. Um, it's two points. It's just a point card. Where I need like, yeah. This is too late. We can't play it because of the uh, requirements. And insulation. I don't want to turn my heat production into money production. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm going to sell a pla uh, plant. No, sell a steel. For seven credits. And without cards, we're just going to keep playing. So, 16. Uh, 16 uh, heat becomes... I mean, it, also, it, it is always interesting to see how far you can go, right? Even if you realize that you will lose, it's still some interest in seeing how far can you push it. Uh, we'll do a trade. Um, and the trade fleet will go to Pluto. Just see if we can sa save ourselves with two cards here. Uh, if there could be anything good in here. Uh, getting energy. Mm. <laughs> Anti-gravity technology. <laughs> this is like the worst card I can pull out here. <sighs> and I don't need energy either. So yeah, I got two credits basically. <sighs> okay, I'm giving up basically. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep playing because yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm always want to finish it. I want to want to see how far I can take it. So eight. Yeah, we can do a greenery. So that's the last there, and we'll put that here to get a card. Um, and we got GHG import from Venus. Ah, we can play that one. So that is uh, 21 with the discount, and we have six. So that's 18 plus three credits. Could have had some usage for the for the titanium at least and we get three more heat production which is good and uh, Venus Tior goes up 
Um, so we have 42 credits. And we'll pay 14. Uh, we're, do, we're, we're making a lot of heat, so... Yeah, let, let's just pay 14 for now. Um, so we get 2 TR because of that. So we'll put the ocean um, for here for two plants, I guess. Uh, then we have 28 credits. We have one more. Uh, let's see, we're going to be able to get, we're going to get 13, 14, 70. We're going to get two steps here, so we might as well pay 20. Eight, that's all that we have, and we will at least finish the temperature in the next generation. In the last generation, yeah, why not? So, I think that's it. We will go to world government, they will do they will do the last ocean, though. Um, yeah, that's better actually because we had four back, so then the ocean only cost us 14. Yeah, so it's more cheap to have them do it's better to have them do the Venus actually. Um, we home from Pluto, we erase everything, we can probably go to Luna next time, get some money. We get production, which is 43, 47. Okay, and then we go into the last generation, bump off the cube, get the four cords, solar net. Uh, let's see, do we have, we don't have a Venus tag, so we can't play this. Otherwise it's good to just draw some cards. We don't have any stevia, we don't want that. Fish, yeah, it's just for, a, it's just for a point basically, but there's actually two points because it would trigger arc light as well. We could pay 12 for two points, but no. Uh, Marshall Rails, no, there's just two cities out there. So, okay, no cards that helped us. So we're basically playing without cards here in the end, and then we will pay uh, 16 heat for the last two steps. We'll pay 18 credits to put out the last ocean, and we'll put it here, because then we get four credits back. Uh, we put out a greenery. Oh, now we're miscalculated stuff because now we don't get the TR because yeah should have had ah. um let me just do a little circle here no 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 let's get a cord we can get a cord that's uh, more important so we have floating habs and floater to any cord is pretty good if we have would have gotten it earlier um and let's see so that's done that's done it's, we're down to this, so we're paying, um, oh, we're going to sell a steel for seven credits, of course. And we're going to trade, so we're going to go to, uh, spend three energy to fly to Luna to get nine more credits. And then we'll spend 30 to do two Venus steps, get two TR and a card from the bonus on the Venus, and it's grass. Um, that would give us three, we will be at five, six plants. Six plants, and no, we can't. If we could, like, if we had an ocean, I could have gotten two more somehow, but yeah, it still doesn't, yeah. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just get rid of that. Um, and we can pay 15 more, raise Venus one step, get to TR, and that's the end of the line. So we are, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 steps away, we're 150 credits away from the win, if we just would just do it on standard projects. We have 6 credits, we have some steel, but it doesn't help us. We, yeah, yeah, it, it's just one of those games where nothing works out for you and you just, you know, it's just annoying, uh, but 
that's how it goes. I mean, it's it's a core driven game. Uh, it's not much you can do about that. If we would have ended it, if we're gonna do some score cal calculation, we would have gotten five points. I mean, we didn't even have a city out. It's just so terrible. Uh, and I think we're on minus points here because we have, I don't think we're even getting any points from this. This takes that out. So uh, one, okay, yeah, we have five points. So we're up there, 59, but we didn't make it because of the Venus, of course. Yeah, but I did enjoy playing anyway. I mean, I got a bit annoyed here. I'm sorry for that <laughs> if I sounded too annoyed in the game, but it's just so frustrating when you're not getting the cost that you need and that you have a plan and nothing works out. And well, we actually got one point from the corporation as well. I think this corporation was really, really, really bad for solo. Uh, I wouldn't even want to play it on multiplayer either. I mean, it's just so boring. Maybe in multiplayer, if you start getting a lot of car, a lot of animals, you start just getting animals on cards, then this the, the, this will trigger as well. Uh, which is not, I mean, maybe you have the bear or whatever, you can go you know, eat other people's animals. Yeah, it might, might be fun, uh, but there's so much more fun corporations out there to be played. So we ended up here on the bad note, but yeah, I love this game and I think it's so much fun uh, overall. Yeah, so that was the final, the fifth solo playthrough of Colonies. I hope that you enjoyed it somehow. Anyway, maybe you're laughing at me when I'm annoyed. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And forget, don't forget to uh, activate the little bell down there as well so you will get notifications from YouTube when I post new videos because there's more to come of Terraformers, of course. Uh, might be a while before we do another playthrough, but it's gonna come top five lists and so on. So hope you enjoy it all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching. Take care, bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.